Futures on the rise this morning slightly after falling on interest rate worries yesterday. The yield curve remaining inverted. You take a look at the two-year yield and the 10-year Two-year is higher than the 10-year yield, historically a sign of recession. It's been like that for how long, Mahoney Asset Management CEO Kim Mahoney is here. We're also, Ken, good morning, looking ahead to Federal mm -hmm. Reserve Chief Jay Powell speaking tomorrow. What are you expecting there, and do you think that the market, the stock market, is finally waking up to what the bond market's been telling us about a recession and maybe a profits recession as well? Yeah, we've had that kind of tend to, you know, reversal, you know, in, in, you know, inverted uh, lease. But, you know, going back to the Fed Chair Powell, I think he's going to stay along the lines which he did in Jackson Hole, which was basically pretty belligerent. You know, that eight-minute speech, oh, it was about $1.2 trillion. Do the math on it. And I think where investors are right now, Dagan, is there's a crisis of confidence. And it starts with Fed Chair Powell, quite frankly. Uh, where last year, what a big whiff. I mean, last year, a great opportunity to raise rates a little bit. Instead, they told us inflation was transitory. Up until the time, by the way, that he was reappointed, then he said, well, let's retire the word transitory. Well, that's probably the time we should have retired him. And then you look at this administration. It literally is the teleprompter presidency. He goes up, he reads a little thingy, you know, sits down, tries to shake air. I mean, no one is confident in what's happening. What Michael said before in the Arizona independence, it's hard to get around this. Now, don't play too much defense. I mean, probably too late to short here. A lot of people are new to this, and so seven down days in a row in NASDAQ, we're due for a one-day wonder, uh, maybe off the heels of what, what uh, Powell says tomorrow, or maybe the CPI next week or the PPI next week. But I think he's going to, again, I don't think much has changed since Jackson Hole and what he's going to say tomorrow. So expect this kind of very hawkish tone overreacting from last, last year's big whiff.